What is going on, Punk Nation, and welcome to Flashing Lights. Brand new game. Uh, I think it's been out for a little while. It was on Steam on sale until November 1st, so I don't think this video will make it out in time. Uh, so I got it for basically 11 bucks. Um, that seems fine. So today we're going to be a fighter man. Fighter fighter. So... I've done one call, actually, no, I've done two. I had to put out an engine fire and rescue a cat. So that was fun. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get in today. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Um, hopefully uh, Halloween was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween video. It was a nice little video. As you can see up there we have done one fire call, one rescue, and then we get a whole bunch of points. It's like we have a vehicle accident. And we'll go ahead and respond to that. And it looks like we have a little bit of a trip. Let's check our Blind spots. Not really familiar with this map, but it's a nice little pretend map. I gotta say, this fire truck does kind of struggle up hills. So hopefully this is a game that you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments below. I actually really enjoy it just for myself, so... I figure, why not? Let's share it with you guys and see how it goes. I know you guys are probably getting bored of farming sim. I can definitely see it. So I'm going to try to bring some new content. Obviously, I'm in the market for a 3D printer. So if you guys know anything about 3D printers, I think it's the Ender. Um, it's probably the best one out there. I'm looking to get the Snapmaker. I'm taking a gamble, basically. It's a version 2 that's coming out. It's a 3D... 3-in-1 printer, which would be perfect for selling stuff. And if you're going to spend $1,000, you might as well get something else than just 3D printing. When I went to the class at my school, they had the range of $700 printer, a $1,000 printer that was enclosed, a $4,000 printer, the Taz, um, that was from the Octopus, they had Akira, which is the little cone as their mascot. I printed the, um, if you guys looked at that one video, I printed the octopus on the Taz. The cup holder was printed on a Dementia. And then my pumpkin guy, my first piece, which I actually didn't show, I don't think. It was a pumpkin guy with spikes little action figure type deal one was printed on a mojo and then the other two was on the dementia and then what else did we do um the kira had the pumpkins printed on them so that's pretty much what i've done with those printers so i got to experience most of the 3d side of printers and then they had the uh, um, liquid resin printer so you dipped it in um, resin and then it had the um, had the uh, light shining on it so we're going to probably uh, do time lapse of prints um, I'm definitely going to turn it into a business the cup holder probably my most pride and joy because I've solved an issue because I went to my local fair this past year, this last August, 
and said, wow, I can't hold my drink and try to eat some food at the same time, so solved the problem. Come on guys, you need to get out of the hell of the way. Alright, it looks like we're getting pretty close. It's all these switchbacks. Ooh, they crashed right after a switchback. This is probably going to be nasty. But we'll also get to see how good the physics are. And do the cars look wrecked or not? That's the question. Because you, know, you got games like GTA 5 that are realistic in, um, in the physics department. You guys heard that little ding? I don't know if you can hear it over the sirens, but I do have the Discord app on my computer, so I'm going to be more active in the Discord now. It's going to be mainly through the day and then at night after 10 p.m., so if you guys would like to chat with me, uh, more than welcome to. Just be respectful. No haters, you know. I don't really want to chat with you guys, so I have no interest. And that's also where we chat for the server, so. It's going to be interesting to see if we're going to need the jaw of life, or what we're going to need. We're probably going to need the jaws of life if we're a fire person. Ambulance should show up on scene, too. Let's get some cone set up. Yep, ambulance is on scene. Alright, let's get some cones up. I'm gonna actually put up my... Let's do this. Nope, I'm gonna go the other way. So that little light bar tells people to get over. Should be back here. Hey, man. Jeez, woman. Alright, how do we place? I don't know the full controls yet, but it shouldn't be that hard. Should just be left click. Oh, there we go. Hey, man. I just did it. There we go. Alright, let's throw some cones right here. Alright, now we're good. Let's see what these guys are going to need. Alright, so we need the shears. Big scissors, basically. Oh, this thing's going to be fun. Alright, so now we need the medical bag.
Alright, so the dude's still alive. He's got a pulse. Breven has pulse, possible neck injury, and concussion. Amos will take it from here, return to headquarters. Alright. Let's head back to headquarters, or we'll get another call. Alright, let's get cleaned up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and we'll be hoping to do some more soon. These guys actually take off to the cones. Hey, hey, woman. Stop crashing into shit. These guys are worse than GTA 5 traffic. Jesus. Alright, let's go to that container fire. If we, oh shit, we can't even get out of here. God, this traffic is so stupid. Oh, this is fun. So I'm trapped. What the hell? I can't climb over to the passenger seat. No. God damn it. I, I messed up. Or actually. Help commands. Alright, there we go. We'll collect another vehicle. What else do we have? Come on, guy. Let's go. Let's go put out these container fires. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going? Oh, this one's going to be a closer one. You're supposed to stop for a freaking fire truck. God damn. One more road up, but that's kind of switchbacks. So now we get to put some fires out. These guys get a two for one deal. We got to save somebody. Now we're going to put some fires out. Might use the big ladder, depending on what it is. So basically trash cans are on fire. So I head back to this, click on fire, 
Oh, we got water hose. And then we don't have a supply, but is that an onboard tank? Now we gotta turn the pump on. There we go. Just look for those little circles until you start getting the bar going around the circle. Obviously, this video will be uploaded be after uh, November 1st, which I'm recording this today on November 1st. Uh, the Patreon mods that I reviewed about a week ago are now officially on the Patreon for Lambo mods. I will have exclusive details about that, which ones cost what, so look out for that video. Oh, so I got one more. Good. Alright, so we put that fire out. And let's put it back in the container. So now, let's do a scenario. Where would a supply be? Is there a hydrant around here somewhere? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this content, please smash that like button. And we'll move on to, um, maybe we'll do some emergency stuff with the medical team and some police. Do some parking tickets, pull over some people, try to find people that are wanted. So, let's head back to the station and wrap up this video. I want to thank everybody for sticking around this year. I know this year was pretty light on videos. Didn't really have much content because as you know, when the community goes private on their mods, my content suffers. So now, yes, I do have respect for modders. I know it's been going around the community that I supposedly I don't, but nobody knows what people really truly think that they're actually going to care about. I care about each and every modder as long as they give me respect and they respect the community. If you want to be a fucking dickhead, you're going to be treated like a fucking dickhead back. So I'm not afraid to call anybody out. It doesn't waste my time. It just gets it off my chest. So... You know, you private messaging me on Facebook saying, oh, you didn't need to waste your time on saying something about me. It doesn't bother me, bro. So. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys stick around and watch all the videos that will be coming out with this game. Future updates, they just did an update for Halloween, so go check it out on Steam. I think it's around 15 bucks now. It was 11 bucks for a little while. But we do have a Black Friday sale on the horizon. It's around Christmas time, so make sure you get um, involved in that. And guys, I want to put a public announcement out there. Steam does not have any admin. If somebody tries to pose as an admin, ban them. Report them to Steam because I almost got scammed the other day. One of my friends tried scamming me and yeah, they got the boot. So be careful out there. Anytime you're dealing with like Google, Steam, and you think you're talking to a representative of that company and then they ask you for your Steam login, that is a fake person. You do not ever give your login out especially if you're talking to the actual company they can bypass that and get to your account easily so be careful out there there's a lot of scams I didn't fall for it so we're all good so we'll see you guys later